Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. You so look like the Golden Girls. And you look like a muscly armed catfish. Now get over here and let me show you my dark side. No, please. Oh, somebody help me, help me, help me. Ah. Ooh, that's nice. First, I'm going to Kevin Spacey you. Then I'm going to George Takai you. Oh, no. That's some creepy shit right there. Please, someone help me, help me. Get your little gungan ass back here. Thank you for being a friend. This reminds me of the time I worked with Harvey Weinstein. Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review and today we're taking a look at another Star Wars Black Series figure and its Supreme Leader Snoke in the Throne Room playset. And this is a GameStop exclusive. I picked this up at my local Think Geek, uh, which if you don't know is owned by GameStop. It's kind of the where they put all the toys from GameStop essentially. And uh, yeah, this thing looks really, really interesting. I love the throne. I think the character looks pretty decent so far, but uh, I just don't know about the gold robe. I mean, he just looks like a Golden Girls character or some weird creeper. I don't know. So <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Herbert the Pervert, I mean Snoke in packaging. I, I, I This is just really weird. Very, very creepy, these, these golden PJs. I don't know what this is about. But uh, yeah, it's very interesting. I, I, I'm definitely digging it. I love the fact he comes with the throne. I wish the Emperor did. I think that would have been really, really cool. Um, but ah oh, man, I just don't know about this gold. Why not put him in black or gray or even a white robe even? This is just this looks weird. I don't I don't know. Maybe it'll look better on the screen. But the package, very similar to what we got with Jabba the Hutt, actually. Kind of a larger scale. It says Star Wars the Black Series. We get Snoke down there. It says Supreme Leader Snoke Throne Room. And there he is in there. And then there's a little window at the top side of the package it says Supreme Leader Snoke on the side and then over here it says the same thing and there's not really much going on there so just kind of a close-up Star Wars there he is there's the artwork and it says uh, Supreme Leader Snoke and then it says the same thing right there and it says Snoke or snow actually side of the package here it just says Supreme Leader Snoke back of the packaging right here and it's got a, a very little write-up of him there he is a giant weird creepy image of him and then he is uh, C3230 I guess I, 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 I don't know so yeah here's the back of the package and get a little closer if you want to pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. Again, there is the artwork looking all kinds of weird and gross. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get Snoke out of box and see what we think. So here we have Snoke out of the packaging. And I gotta say, this is actually a pretty fun figure, even though it looks goofy as hell. Um, there are some really cool things about this figure, some very odd things about this figure, but nothing really negative about this figure, I guess. Uh, I went to go see Thor Ragnarok today, and they had a trailer for The Last Jedi, and you can see Snoke in the film, and he does wear this golden robe, but uh, the robe in the film looks different. It doesn't look like this. It's uh, darker, and it's multicolored. It's just not one straight piece of Grandma PJs looking type of thing. Which, I mean, it is an action figure, so I can kind of see where they're going with it. But I think I would have preferred a, a vinyl uh, cloak to go over him or something with some paint detail to maybe accentuate that. But, uh, eh, it is what it is. The coolest thing about this, though, is definitely the throne. It's a hollow piece of plastic. Oh, don't fall off there, buddy. Um, 
which is, it's okay, but it looks really, really nice. I had a lot of fun uh, messing around with the throne itself and using different action figures on it. So it fits your Marvel Legends uh, figures really, really well. Um, Hella looks hella good on it. Oh, see what I did there? She looks really, really nice uh, sitting on the throne. It looks very Asgardian, and uh, I really, really do dig that. So um, I guess we'll take a look at that first. So I'm going to take Snoke off of here and just kind of throw him off to the side as we look at the actual uh, throne itself. Very cool. Um, very neat. Lots of paint details on it. Um, I like that. Uh, very cool. Got this light blue that goes around. Uh, detail on the seat. Um, it actually looks like cloth, um, uh, you know, woven in, which is really nice. Uh, very cool. We get the little lights on the little step down there. Um, light blues. We get reds and darker blues. Um, and we even get a lot of detail on the back. No paint apps, though, on the back, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, while I do like the paint apps that are on it, I think it could have been better, um, to be honest. I think if you just take some black wash over it, it'll make the throne look even cooler. And I may do that. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And as you can tell from the noise in the background, the birds are going crazy today. So if you hear something, that's what it is. No one getting murdered, just parrots. Um, let's see. So... Snoke himself. Um, very odd and very weird because underneath this, he's got pants, but they stop like at mid shin. They're like all pulled up. Like he literally just kind of pulled them up and he's walking through water in the garage or something. It's very strange. And he's got these little bedroom slippers on, which is just very creepy. And he's got old man legs with the wrinkles in it and everything. I just, I don't get it. It's just very strange. And then um, he's got the cloth underneath. You can take the uh, belt off. It just unplugs. But I just, this thing just kind of creeps me out that way, really. And I just, I, I don't know. It looks better with the actual robe hiding those weird, creepy old man legs. Um, the face sculpt looks really good, though. I definitely dig that. Um, as far as articulation goes, he can look left and right. He looks down just a little bit. Um, he doesn't look up very much. It's more of a side-to-side -side motion that you get out of the guy. Um, he does have a twist at... Uh, the uh, upper chest, it's like a diaphragm type of joint. Um, and then his uh, arms can go up pretty high. They spin around. There's a double jointed elbow hidden underneath the robe itself. The hands are on hinges um, like this, and they also twist, which is nice. The legs kick up oh, about that far. They don't kick out very far. There's a twist at the upper leg. Um, he has a double jointed knee, Ugh, and it's a little stiff. But he does have a double jointed knee there. Um, there is no twist at the upper uh, boot, well, what would be the boot, I guess. And then he's got a hinge at uh, the foot itself. It does uh, twist, and he's got that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love! With this being his whitest possible stance, with both feet still flat on the floor. And he kind of looks like he's in the middle of a stroke at a retirement home. Aww. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, it's sculpted really, really well and painted amazingly. It looks like the character from the film, just all gnarled and gross and nasty. And it's going to be really interesting to see him in uh, The Last Jedi uh, to get some more screen time. I'm real, real interested to see what this character is like. Now, the robe has this kind of sparkly kind of look to it, and I just, I don't know, I can't get past the Golden Girls look here. I'm not sure what this is going to be like when we actually see it on film, but I, I, I guess we're going to see come December. So looking at the midsection of the figure itself, um, I like how he's got the big black ring there and how his hands kind of drape over the throne. I think that's pretty cool. The belt is nice. It's just a flat gold. It'd been nice if they had some black wash in there. Um, creepy old hands right there, just kind of funky. Um, I'm wondering about the ring, though. I read on a blog somewhere online that that ring might actually be a kyber crystal, which is the, uh, you know, energy source for a lightsaber. So if that's the case, I think that might be kind of cool. Maybe it's got him some kind of poison, which kind of deformed him, a la Lex Luthor in the kryptonite ring from Superman comics. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure as they drape over the throne here. They're just creepy, really creepy. He has these Aladdin type of old woman shoes. 
He's got his pants pulled up to his knees. I mean, this dude just literally looks like a creepy old man that has stumbled out of the bathroom. I just, I don't get it. For comparison, here we have Supreme Leader Snoke next to Grand Admiral Thrawn and Force Spirit Obi-Wan Kenobi. And as you can tell, he is a really tall character, which is nice. I mean, when we see him in The Force Awakens, he looks gigantic because he's in a hologram, but he's definitely a lot taller than other characters in the Star Wars universe. And now it's time to play everybody's favorite game, Who Throned It Better? Is it Supreme Leader Snoke? Perhaps it's Grand Admiral Thrawn. How about Deadpool? Perhaps it is Bane. Or maybe it's Spider Bitch. Maybe it's Mystique. Maybe it's Lord Starscream. But I'm actually pretty certain it's Hela, the goddess of death. She has actually been my favorite figure to put onto the throne, and I may display her on the throne. I don't know. What do you guys think? So is Supreme Leader Snoke something that you want in your Star Wars collection? Well, the bird thinks so. If you are collecting all of the new trilogy stuff, this is something you're definitely going to want. Um, if you like the bad guys, the Empire, that kind of thing, the Sith, you're probably going to want this because he's the big bad guy of the new trilogy. I just don't know about the golden robe. I really, really don't. I love the throne. I love the fact that he comes with the throne. Uh, this is a GameStop exclusive. At the time of the recording, my GameStop had like four of these. My Think Geek had one of these. So you can pick them up. They're out there. It does retail for $40. So you're essentially paying for the figure and the throne, uh, the cost of two Black Series figures. He's definitely creepy, and I like that in my bad guy. I just don't know about the golden PJs. I just... I don't get it. I guess we'll see when we get to the movie itself and maybe I'll change my mind and maybe I won't. The throne itself I think is a great accessory um, that can be used in other displays. It's definitely going to get uh, thrown around my displays quite a bit. I think it works great for Asgardian thrones or some other Marvel Legends type of characters. Uh, definitely very cool. Could use a little black washing and a bit more detail but it's definitely a fun accessory piece. So there he is, Supreme Leader Snoke with his throne from Star Wars The Black Series, The Last Jedi. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.